Hey guys, don't welcome back to your boys right here on the BP's Pro Wrestling Corner. This is your boy Skippy. I'm your boy BP right here. We're on YouTube.com. This is your Friday night SmackDown review. Come to you live from Manchester, England. Uh, not us. We're, we're not. Or Smackdown. The SmackDown was. Uh, dude. I don't think it's surviving in England. But anyway. It sucked. I don't know what to say. You so up to me. What? But I didn't suck. What? But oh, we're yeah. gonna get into it anyway. But anyway, you know, I thought I didn't think it was all that great. But it, it has some good moments and uh, some bad moments. Yeah, it just kind of makes you wish that they got stuck in Saudi Arabia more often. Yeah, yeah because I'm telling you, man, from this week's show compared to last week's show when NXT was on there and had matches, wow, that's a big difference, dude. Yeah. So. Anyway, we won't get down to it, man. But start out, King Corbin comes out to the ring, running his mouth which about he does Roman pass. Reigns, and I, I don't, which I don't care. I love King Corbin. I think he's great. Hill, but he run. He set to run his mouth about Roman Reigns. Of course, Roman Reigns is nowhere in the building because he's not doing a make a wish thing. So he has not set up the building yet. So that's why Corbin out to run his mouth, and it's pretty funny and amusing because he puts up on the big screen. Roman Reigns' his logo, barking like a chihuahua. <laughs> what the? Where I don't know where. We, is Vince McMahon giving these guys full reins now to do what the hell they want? Yes. Yeah. Speaking of reins, yeah, that's fine. But uh, no pun intended on that. But I thought those was great, and it's something I don't see Vince doing. I'm, I'm thinking Baron Corbin, King Corbin had a lot to do with that himself. This is like that's something the case, that Rock would do. Yeah, right. and that was funny. That was fantastic. I thought it was hilarious. And speaking of the Samoan Dynasty, the Rock. There you go. But anyway, uh, so that happened. Uh, after that was over with, the uh, first match on SmackDown was for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship. The New Day versus the Revival here. I gave it three stars. And the only reason why I gave it three stars is because, are you serious? Seven time tag team champion, the New Day beats our boys of revival. Are you serious? I, I don't know what to think of this. Um, I'm guessing it probably has something to do with the Survivor Series. I know that's exactly what, because, oh, we don't have nothing for the New Day to do, so we're going to take the revival out of the match. Give me that. Give me a break, dude. Are you serious? Something, I mean, I obviously don't think this could happen, but I. I'd like to see the revival pull a Brock Lesnar and quit SmackDown because of this, and go join their buddy on Raw, Randy Orton. Randy Orton to. really pushed to have these guys work with him, and then they the draft to. split them up for whatever reason. Speaking of that, uh, I'm hearing Randy wanted to do this whole uh, teaming up thing, uh, this whole uh, you know faction, so to speak. But Vince McMahon said no. I thought it was great. The Shatter Machine RKO thing, that was great. I, I don't get why this couldn't work. So maybe uh, somehow maybe the trade with uh, Alexa Bliss and, or something can get involved. I don't know. I'm going to tell you this. I feel like somebody there at WWE is watching me and Skippy because everything we've said so far Starting with this whole angst T survivor series bullshit. They've done it. They put they put they put these matches together because we talked about way before it even happened. You remember back a couple shows back about uh putting US champion and going against the Intercontinental Champion, going against uh North American champion, it's happened. Putting attacking champions go against each other, it's happened. The women's champions against each other, it's happened. The only thing we didn't get was the, the world champions, champions yeah. which I understand why they didn't do that. But then again, they still should have done it. Um, hey, and if you're watching, I, I definitely could use a better job. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd no love shit. to work creative. Uh, oh, I think anybody, anybody probably can work creative better than Vince McMahon's crew he's got going on over there for all on SmackDown. Hopefully Triple H is getting more involved in I that. I would take Vince Russo and all his on a pole oh, matches dude. back. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So. Most definitely. But I'm, I'm, I'm really upset about this because now tag team match at Survivor Series going to, is going to be uh, the Viking Raiders going against uh, Undisputed Era going against the New Day. I I think the match at Survivor Series would be better this way. I, I hate to admit that. But um, 
the way I was looking at the tag team match at Survivor Series was the Vikings and Raiders were going to destroy everybody. See, I wasn't looking at it that way. I was thinking the Revival was going to. Yeah, not destroy everybody, but I, think, I was thinking... Steal a win or something. Yeah, steal a win. Yeah. I was thinking the Revival was going to steal a win because they remind me of old Todd Blanchard and Arn Anderson type yeah. people. And I love them guys. Oh, they're an old school team. Old yeah, school team. Sure. I love them. But now, since the Revival's out of this match, Undisputed. I think New Day matches up better with the Viking Raiders especially, especially Big E. Giving yeah. them another big, agile guy. Uh, like I said, Kingston, a world champion now. I think I'm going to going to steal this one. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Brock Lesnar, Daniel Bryan switch we had a couple years ago. Where That's true. Absolutely, yeah. Or no, it was AJ Styles. We wanted uh, It was going to be Jinder Mahal and Brock Lesnar, and AJ Styles took the belt from yeah. Jinder. Yeah, right I, before Survivor yeah Series. I see that, yeah. Uh, next up, man, Heavy Machinery it comes out to the ring. They're getting ready to go against uh, a team of we don't know. Because the Imperium show up and destroy Heavy Machinery right in the middle of the ring for a few minutes anyway, maybe a few seconds yeah. before uh, the SmackDown roster comes out for the save. So we don't know exactly what two they was about to take on because Imperium did come out there with Walter and they uh, had their way with Heavy Machinery for a little bit. So again, we're having uh, NXT uh, you know, come over to SmackDown once again. I think that was an interesting twist, just because I know they didn't want to fly a bunch of NXT stars over. So that NXT UK stars. But showing. NXT is now pretty much everywhere. So yeah, UK shows up and... But as you do remember, uh, Walter and the NXT boys from Imperium, they have been showing up on regular yeah. NXT lately, too. So that's probably, what, you know, so that's going to be interesting to see what kind of part they have uh, in the Survivor Series. Because man, I'm telling you what, we're, we're having a lot of matches that are building up for Survivor Series. That we didn't know was going to happen. But besides the championship matches. Besides yeah. the champions. I'm talking about like these women. Sasha Banks uh, is uh, taking her own team. And do battle. Against uh, team uh, the, the team NXT and Team Raw. So what we're doing is going to be more Survivor Series type matches. Elimination matches. Yeah. Going on. Besides I'm sure King Corbin's going to have his team. I'm sure Roman Reigns will have. Or uh, Roman. Seth. Seth will have his team, and then whoever is, I don't know, maybe Finn Balor? I don't know. Something's going to happen. And we'll see. A lot of questions. Yeah, a lot, lot, yeah lot's going to happen here. We don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, next up, man, was a tag team match between, never mind, let me backtrack this just a little bit. We're backstage here. Sammy is backstage. We see Daniel Bryan walking up. He tells Daniel Bryan, you need to join us. We want you to join me and Shinsuke Nakamura along with our boy Cesaro. And Brian didn't give him a straight answer. He's listening to him. Sammy Zane invites Daniel Bryan out to the ring to watch the next match take place to, therefore, to see if he would like to join Sammy's crew, which I love Sammy Zane. I think he's fucking awesome. Yeah, we got a name for this team, though. But, yeah. uh, but anyway, yeah, you're right. Shinsuke Nakamura, Sammy, and Cesaro, but of course, Sammy's uh, managing these two. They went against Ali and Shorty G here. And I gave that match, I think, of three stars, which I did. And Cesaro and Shinsuke won the match with Daniel Bryan staying on the ramp, watching what was happening. And, of course, won because of the uh, the factor that's in the ring, Sammy's in. Uh, if he doesn't get involved, <laughs> they're probably not going to win that way. Exactly. So, uh, three stars for me as well. Uh, just... Average entertaining match, nothing fantastic. Daniel Bryan turned around, didn't answer, walked away. Yeah. So that was that. But that's what happened. Next up, man, we had a women's match. Sasha Banks going one on one against Nikki Cross. If you remember last week, uh, Nikki Cross won it one on one against uh, the SmackDown Women's Champion for the championship, Bailey, until Shannon Baszler got involved in that match. Now, Sasha Banks ends up winning this match. I gave her three stars. Nikki Cross did a phenomenal job. I thought she was going to beat Sasha Banks at one time. But, of course, that's the boss. Speaking of Sasha Banks, if you guys did not hear or recognize, she does have a new soundtrack with her uncle, Snoop Dogg. It started off as her old soundtrack, but it goes right into her new one with Snoop Dogg. So if you guys have noticed that, and I'm, not, I'm sure you don't like it. You're not a big fan of it. I mean, and he's a big Sasha fan too, so I thought it sounded like crap. <laughs> I'm like, what? What is it? I mean, the Snoop part was kind of right, but right. it just the whole thing sounded like crap. Exactly. Me. 
But they're, they're, they should not fire that that guy that did the yeah. theme song because uh, what was his name? Dillinger or something? I forgot his name. Johnson. Yeah, I don't know what his name was. But uh, Sasha ends up winning this match. I give three stars. But during the way during this match, uh, you know, Nikki Cross goes out there. She is a co cocking Bailey while she sat on the announce table, knocking Bailey over, causing Bailey to get pretty pissed off. But after this match is over with, Bailey jumps in the ring. Sasha's out of the ring on her way up the ramp, not paying attention to what the hell's going on. Bailey's in the ring, beating the crap out of Nikki Cross. Once again, your NXT Women's Champion, Shannon Bailey. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Comes out and just beats on Bailey. <laughs> that surprised me. I didn't expect to see Shayna in uh, Manchester, England. <laughs> so I think Shayna was surprised. She probably didn't expect to see herself in Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, well, there's that. Uh, so uh, I thought it was fantastic, though. I love seeing these NXT guys and women go to Raw, go to SmackDown. But the sheet is coming. I'm telling you. Kind of reminds me of you know what really got the man over was. The bloody nose leading up to Survivor Series last year. Oh my, Jackson! Yeah, I remember that. So yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that was entertaining back then, like the SmackDown invasion and stuff. I thought they should have done more with that. Uh, they could have done a lot more with that, actually. But I mean, it seems like NXT is really just invading and trying to make the name for themselves, and I love it. Yeah, de- definitely. But I'm telling you, like we said, like I said, there's going to be a receipt. I'm telling you, both these shows are going to show up on NXT either this week or next week before Survivor Series. I'm thinking NXT and Survivor Series is going to show up on Raw the week of Survivor Series. Raw and SmackDown is going to show up on NXT. And then Raw and NXT is going to show up on SmackDown. To last night, Friday night, going into Survivor Series. Actually, I'm going to take that back because these NXT people are doing double duty all weekend. Yeah. They got NXT TakeOver Saturday night before Survivor Series. Yeah, you got war games. These guys are going to go beat the hell out of each other and then have to team up. That's, that's and gonna then be have to team up on Survivor Series? Yeah, that's going to be an interesting Holy crap. There. These people on NXT, the whole roster on NXT. But that brings I'm, up a good point. Up to this point, it's the only real aggressive one has been NXT. Exactly. They keep attacking and taking mm-hmm. their shots. You did. We did see OC, and we talked about this, calm down to NXT. <clears throat> but we're not seeing Raw get involved with NXT. We're not seeing SmackDown getting involved with Raw yet. At some point, you know, they're going to fight each other. So Something's going to happen. Something's got to get it for sure. Survivor Series is going to be fantastic, as we talked about. This is probably going to be the best Survivor Series in a long, long time. Absolutely. And so it's going to be great, man, to see. Uh, anyway, man, we're backstage. Sami Zayn is sitting there talking to Daniel Bryan about, see, you need to join us. You see what we did out there? When the lights go out and behind Daniel Bryan, Universal Champion. The Dean shows up, takes him out the man of the world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so two interesting points here is the Sami Zayn sees the Fiend and decides to run like a coward. So I don't think Daniel Bryan will be joining you anytime soon now, buddy. And then Good second, point. it Good was point. very interesting to see it happen backstage. We're so used to seeing it in the ring or on the ramp. The Fiend can have strike in the backstage area. No, that's that's interesting. This answers a question now. Is the Fiend going to be on Survivor Series? Yes, he is. And here you go. Daniel Bryan There it is. The there you go. So I answers that question. Now, what about Brock? Is this him and Ray going to go at it Survivor Series? Yeah, that's been announced. Has that think, been yeah. announced already? Okay, well, there so, you go. The only real thing we don't have yet is any match for Adam Cole, but I don't think... I think he's going to be involved in the angst T Survivor Series team. I bet yeah. you he's probably going to be one of the co-captains for... Actually, he's going to be a captain for NXT, I think. Going into uh, the whole, the whole. Yeah, I guarantee you, Champa, Riddle, and Keith Lee will probably be part of his team. Maybe Johnny Gargano. If he's not hurt, I don't know. He is injured. I think I don't know if it was a story or if he's legit injured. Right. They did run an injury angle with Finn Balor. Yeah. Um, so we have to see. Maybe Finn Balor. There you go. Forget. I forgot about Finn. But yeah. So that's what happened with that. Next up, uh, up I don't care about. Tyson Ferry comes out to the ring. Uh, he's uh, talking about this match of the Ron Stolman at uh, Crown Jewel. He's talking about Deontay Wilder and the other guy he beat in Germany. And uh, I mean, Deontay Wilder, as a matter of fact, they got another match coming up again in February sometime. But uh, anyway, getting back to this whole Ron Stolman thing, he calls Ron Stolman out to the ring. Ron Stolman comes out to the ring, and uh, Tyson Ferry 
uh, tells Braun Strowman, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for uh, uh, Dr. the whole thing from Crown Jewel. You know, they end up shaking hands, giving each other a hug. Uh, Brown, uh, Tyson Ferry says, hey, you know, next time I'm here, I'd like to stop fighting each other. We need to be teammates. And Braun Strowman said, yeah, that will be pretty cool. So but, uh, uh, nobody's, stupid, nobody's enough stupid enough to come out. And get these four hands. To get these hands. And uh, I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. The B team. <laughs> What did it, I mean, that, did it, it made this segment. Axel comes out and says, we're stupid enough <laughs> to come out here and get them hands. And Bo's like, whoa. So he didn't think about what he said there. <laughs> but I'm telling you yeah, what. And then Bo, everybody knows that the B and B team fans are fearless. fearless. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. That was, it was great. Entertaining that was a whole entertaining segment. Even though I didn't care about the whole Tyson and LeBron thing. Yeah. That, that, but the B team made that segment. I thought it was funny. So, yeah, that's what happened there. We to see if uh, Tyson Ferry does end up coming back after he's done with boxing. If he'll actually get in the ring with Braun Strowman and do that, do that whole thing. But now, getting back to Braun Strowman, I'm saying this. With the whole Daniel Bryan thing. Daniel Bryan is going to get beat by Survivor Series. And either he's going to get beat one-on-one fair by one-on-one against uh, Bray Wyatt or... The White family will be back. Rowan, Harper, and Strowman. I'm hearing rumors that something's in the works, but I don't know. Uh, Rowan's on Raw, right? Yes, but he I is. I don't know that they ever really put Harper anywhere, but uh, I don't know. Is Harper even going to come back? Because I've seen a picture of him being pissed off standing at the airport, ground drill, looking like, really? We got thrown off the plane? You know? <laughs> So who yeah, knows what's was. going on. He was one of the guys that was pissed off about the whole situation. I don't think I blame him. Yeah, I don't blame him either. I'm, uh, still, I'm still not buying it. I think something definitely went on besides just... Here's a match coming up, guys, I was really shocked about. Whoever wins this match is going to be part of Sasha Banks' team for Team SmackDown. And it was Fire and Desire going against Carmella and Dana Brooke here. And it's funny now to uh, listen to Corey Graves, and Michael Cole, talk during this match because you know Corey Graves loves a man. He's a big Mandy fan. Mandy. But, but he also loves Carmella. But in real life, <laughs> but in real life, he's got something going on with Carmella. It's so interesting to see uh, how they react, uh, uh, to how they, him and Michael Cole react to the women in the ring. But I was really surprised about who won this match. I gave this match three stars. Fire and Desire lost. Carmella and Dana Brooke. Really? Yeah, I, I just don't know here either. Like, I, I've always liked Carmella to an extent. Are they but, actually giving Dana Brooke a push here now? That's what I'm wondering. And, and I mean, she was pretty good in NXT. I wouldn't say she was great. But she just mellowed that, hey, we're going to call you up and totally fuck you over. And that's exactly what they did for a long, long time. Dana got put with Tyson or uh, Titus O'Neill. Titus, yeah. Titus Paolo Worldwide, Cruz. you know, Apollo Cruz. Speaking of Titus, where have you been? Who knows? <laughs> Chasing the 24 7 championship. I don't think he ever stuff. left uh, the bottom of the ring there. Uh, he's so. probably still in catering somewhere. I don't yeah. know. But anyway, yeah, uh, Dana Brooke and Carmelo end up winning this match, which was a total shock to me. I wasn't expecting it. I, I thought was. it was going to be firing desire on Sasha's team. Interesting to see even Dana Brooke pick up the win with the, uh, the Centon off the top rope. That's what I'm saying. That was yeah. crazy. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Sonya, like, what is going on with that? I don't know. It seems Are like they some... trying to tear these girls apart? No. It seems like somebody in creative hates these two. It seems like something's going to happen. Something has to give. I don't know what's going to happen between these two women here. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do here. Next up, man, is your main event for the whole SmackDown show was your main event. Roman Reigns going one on one. Roman Reigns, uh, you know, we, I gave this match four stars because it was interesting as hell. I love watching King Corbin and Roman Reigns go at it. And what happened here in this match was total shock to me. I didn't see it coming until Ziggler and Rude came out that I knew something was going to happen. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Corbin ends up picking up the victory, man, here against Roman Reigns. 
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm kind of tired of this whole Corbin and and Reigns thing. I feel like it's been going for a little bit too long. Uh, it keeps coming back to it. <coughs> I'm thinking uh, the Survivor Series coming up. I'm thinking this feud going to end. Yeah, <coughs> actually, I'm thinking this feud is probably going to end. Uh, it's a pretty good match. Both of them are great in ring competitors. You know, Baron Corbin's probably one of the top heels on the main uh, rosters. Uh, but this feud is probably going to end this week because what, how can it? Not in this week, especially with Raw and XT wanting to jump everybody. So something has to. All these views are having to be put on hold for yeah. a long time, for at least until after Survivor Series. Anyway, so whoever's got a feud on Raw, whoever's got a feud on XT, and whoever's got a feud against each other on SmackDown, they they all have to watch their backs now. I would look at SmackDown and Raw have the advantage because unfortunately NXT doesn't get the sideline there. Their feuds, they come to a head right before Survivor Series. And which sucks about the whole NXT thing is what what Paul is trying, Paul Vick is trying to do. If you guys want to hear that, it's just What he's trying to do is move NXT out of full cell and make them go travel like Raw and SmackDown. And what happens here now? You got everybody at full cell, so now that's a little spot. Now you're gonna have Raw and uh, SmackDown come to full cell University to jump these NXT people. It's, and it's, it's not a big arena. No. Not at all. So a lot of shit's going to happen. <laughs> so when Raw and SmackDown do show up on NXT, expect chaos. Yeah. And damages. Something's going to happen big time. I think it'd be interesting. But anyway, man, uh, I don't know what else to say about the show. Uh, no, it, was just, uh, it was just all right to me. I give it uh two and a half out of five. If we're talking about a 10-star match, I'll, I'll give it four. I don't understand why, but to me, it always seems like when they go overseas and stuff and have Raw and SmackDown over there, I feel like those shows are just subpar for some reason. And and also, uh, it was great to see NXT show up, but it wasn't like last week when uh, all the big name stars were still stuck overseas. Yeah, I think that probably would have made things better if there was more uh, just NXT causing havoc. And, right. And we did get Imperium, we did get Shayna. Yeah. You remember back in the day when, uh, what was it, uh, the group, uh, when they jumped on John Cena and beat the heck out of him? Uh, uh, the Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. That's what it reminds me of. A Nexus invasion. Or uh, just the, like the whole WCW invasion and stuff like that. That was fantastic back then. Realistically, day. until there's a counter, like I, I would love to see NXT and, and interrupt them with every segment of every show. Every show, every week. Every segment. You got Sasha out there, she gets beat up. You yeah. get, and, until finally, hey, all right, we're going to full sale, and we're going we're gonna to give them the receipt now. Yeah, something's going to happen, man. It's like, you be... are interrupting our show, not allowing us to put on a good show, which <laughs> right. to me actually makes it a better show. Yeah, but, it does make it a better show when you got people from different brands coming over. Uh, now, I feel uh, like maybe I'm just too biased, but, but like, yeah, the SmackDown just didn't seem as good as last week. Where you got the full uh, NXT invasion. I say this every week, and I'm going to say it again. Where is all these guys? Where's Johnny Morrison? When did you come in? Where's all these injured guys? Where's Kevin Owens? Where's all these other people? Where is everybody on the main roster? You got still people missing from Raw. You got people missing from NXT. You got people missing from SmackDown because of injuries, or they haven't been gone for a while. Sheamus is supposedly supposed to come back. Or the unfortunate creative has nothing for you. Yeah. And that, that's true. So, you know, a lot of people were supposed to make their debut. Rumors still going rampant. Mr. Phil Brooks, nowhere to be seen yet. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen there. Backstage, uh, you know, they've been having segments on that. Renee Young did tease uh, CM Punk uh, showing at one time, but nothing else was said about that. So I don't know if uh, they're going to just leave that alone and maybe... Big surprise at Royal Rumble. John Morrison, CM Punk, Kevin Owens, Seamus, everybody coming back to make Royal Rumble what it's supposed to be. Uh, a big surprise at WrestleMania. I don't know. But I'm telling you what right now. If you hear that color, or if you hear that fucking song from uh, CM Punk's uh, hit, that song hit any arena from here until WrestleMania, that place is going to fucking erupt. It's going to explode. I guarantee it. Because everybody's been waiting for CM Punk, and uh, I'm telling you, sooner or later, it's going to happen. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry, AW, but you didn't get CM Punk. You didn't get Randy Orton. 
So, what you did get was Le Bleble. Le Bleble. <laughs> Which is awesome. But anyway, man, this has your, been your SmackDown, Friday Night SmackDown review. Again, from Manchester. I wasn't all that great, but it was still entertaining. It could have been better. We'll get into that, guys, uh, as the weeks go on. But until next time, I think our next show is probably going to be full gear. your full gear review for AEW. So until then, guys, uh, I mean, Skippy will be right here waiting on you guys right here. After you like, comment, share, and subscribe, we'll be right here waiting for you guys right here on the corner. We'll see you then.